Welcome back. What's going on today? We will be doing day twenty power power uh, PowerShell power. Oh my God! PowerShell ELF to the rescue. So this is part of Advent of Cyber Two challenge. I'm sure you know about this challenge in Try Hack Me. And in this challenge, we will go over the task twenty five day twenty, where we will use PowerShell to answer the questions here. In the written text here, you can find guidance about PowerShell, but I'm gonna uh, lay down the concepts for you. You don't need to read all of that. So we will be answering these questions. We will use PowerShell to answer the questions. So in this video, we will learn a bit about using PowerShell to perform file and directory operations. Now the first thing we do, let's log in now as given to the SSH server. And this is the password. Okay, now we're logged in. Scroll down and see the questions. So before doing any kind of question, let's launch PowerShell. And now we have PowerShell here. All right. So let me open my notes. So in my notes, soon I will publish a guide on PowerShell. So if you haven't joined the Cybersecurity Notes membership, you can just join and you will get access to the notes in a PDF format. Uh, now the PowerShell uh, notes will be released soon. All right, just I'm gonna open it now to see the uh, commands that we will be using. So basically here we have the file and directory operations. All right, so let me switch back and see the first question. Search for the first hidden ELF file. Search for the first hidden ELF file within the documents folder. Read the contents of this file. What does ELF1 want? So we're required to find a hidden file in the documents uh, folder. The first thing, we have to navigate to the documents folder. One way to do that is we use the set location. Set location CMD is used to navigate you to the required or desired, um, you know, location. So under sla uh, back backslash documents, it doesn't exist. Let's see the back, see the directory structure. Okay. So in here we have to specify the user. So for me, MC eager hit enter. Do we have a connection problem? No. Okay, so we are in the documents folder. The next thing we need to do is to get the hidden files. So one way to do that is to use the get child item C and delete. We specify the type of object we want to retrieve. In this case, it is file. Now, because we're required to find a hidden file, we will use the hidden switch. And because the path we, will, we are looking in is in the documents folder, we don't need to specify the path in here. And finally, we will um, go through the errors. If there is any error during the process, we will just go through the error silently without any output. So I'm going to use this uh, switch. Error action silently continue. So as you can see, we have two hidden files, desktop ini and e1 phone.txt. How do you know these are the, how do you know these are hidden files? We look at the flag or the mark h, which means it is hidden. Now we have to get the content of this file. So we use the cm delete, get content. Now I write. Yeah, it is right, get content. So the cm delete get content is used to retrieve the content of a text file. And the file is, all I want is my two font teeth. So we go back, 
search for the first hidden file, we found it. Read the contents of this file. What does ELF1 want? So he wants two front teeth. <laughs> All right, next one. Search on the desktop for a hidden folder that contains the file. Search on the desktop for a hidden folder. Now, a folder that contains the file for ELF2. Read the contents of the file. What is the name of that movie that ELF2 wants? So now we will change the location. Set location into desktop. Now we will retrieve the list of the hidden directories. So we use get child item, but this time use directory. And the rest of the command stands. So take it. So we have one hidden directory here, right? Now let's go to that directory cd elf2. The next one is to retrieve the list of the hidden files. So we use this command. Nothing. All right. Let's cancel the hidden. Maybe the file is not hidden. So we have one. Now let's get the content of that file. And now I want the movie Scratched. So this is the name of the movie. Search the Windows directory for a hidden folder. All right, that contains files for ELF3. What is the name of this hidden folder? This command may take a while. Okay, so now let's go to the Windows directory. Um, set location C Windows. Oh, that's not correct. See what's in there. So we have these directories and files. Now, the question is asking in the Windows directory, search for a hidden folder that contains files for ELF3. What is the name of the hidden folder? So here, the command that we will be using is get child item, right? Dash directory dash hidden. And of course, don't forget dash error action silently continue, but this is not enough because we have thousands of files and directories in the Windows um, in the windows here which means we will end up with a long and massive list of files and directories even if they were hidden so we have to find something to narrow this list down let's go back to this question for a hidden folder that contains files for elf3 so if we use the filter option dash filter and between the single quotes, we type two stars. In between the stars, we type um, a pattern, a string pattern. It could be a word, it could be one letter, it could be a number. What's going to happen now? PowerShell will look for all of the hidden files, for all of the hidden directories that contain the string pattern in here. In my case, I'm going to put three since the folder name definitely will have the... Uh, number three in its name because it's for elf3 right so we need to put three here it, it has to c contain three in its um, name so we use the filter option to search for all the hidden directories that have three as a number in its name enter so we got nothing nothing let's get back Search a Windows directory for a hidden folder. So we are searching for a folder. What is the name of the folder? Hint. Ah, okay. So this is the hint. So 
So I'm sure there is something more we can do here. Let's use a recurse. The recurse option will search for the current directory and its subdirectories. Let's see now. And of course, finally, we got one match. So 3LF3, this is our directory. How many words does the first file contain? So this folder has files in it, right? So let's navigate to that folder and see the list of files contained in that folder. So we will take this location. Do we have a problem for the connection? No. Nope. Let me put this on the right. Um, I guess I have to re-establish the connection back. Okay, now set location. By the way, you don't need to use set location all the time. You can just use CD, it's fine. But you have to know the CM delete. All right, cd to this hidden directory, and let's list the content, nothing. So there is a hidden file in there, get child item, dash file, dash hidden, and continue with, or silently continue if there is an error. So you have two files. How many words does the first file contain? This is the first file, this is the second file. So one way to find the number of words inside a file is to use the get content. All right, and pipe the output to measure object. This will list all of the statistics about the file. So the count is 9999 words. What two words are at index 551 and 6991 in the first file? So, this file contains 9999 uh, strings, right, or characters, let me say. So, the question is asking, how many, uh, what two words are at index 551 and 6991? And you know, every letter has an index, so the first letter in the file for example, type 1.txt. You see here, there are many words. If you scroll up, for example, let's suppose that this is the first word, right? The first word contains, or the first word has the index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, and so on and so forth. The question is asking, find the word, there are two words at index 551 and 6991. So we have to use these indexes to find these two words or find what they are so according to the formula here the first index is at 551 nope uh, I guess we have to put two parentheses here one and two so the first word is red. In the second file, the required index is 6991. So here, 6991. So I guess now it's looking for the index. Yeah, actually the index is big, 6991. So now it's... Uh, looking through the words, trying to identify the word at the index 6991. Anyway, without wasting any time, it is Rider. So, the last one. 
This is only half the answer. Search the second file for the phrase from the previous question. This one. To get the full answer, what does ELF3 want? Use spaces when submitting the answer. So we have to find out, all right, or we have to search through the second file for the word Red Rider, where we will find out what ELF3 wants. Okay. Which means now we have to introduce a new CMD let actually. Now we will use select string. Okay. In select string cmd let we will look for a specific pattern. We we'll identify first the file. The file is 2.txt and then define the pattern that we will use for the search. The pattern, as we are told, is red writer. So use this word, of course, without any spaces. Okay, let me put this lowercase. And then type all matches. Let's see now what ELF3 wants. So basically, as you can see, this word has been found in the text file at this position. Red Rider BB Gun. So Red Rider wants a BB Gun. Which marks the answer for the last question. So. In this video, we went over the task 20, where we covered the basics, some of the basics in using PowerShell, right, for file and directory operations, navigating the file system, getting the content, retrieving the hidden files, hidden directories, trying to search for specific patterns, retrieving the statistics about specific files. And of course, we will add more in the upcoming videos. Uh, don't forget to... Um, so that was for today and see you in the next video.